Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Patrick Ta. Today, I'm gonna be walking you guys through what I take to my clients when I do makeup. I am also going to be answering a few questions. I put up a, I put up a poll onto my Instagram and just to see what questions you guys have. First and foremost, I'm gonna be walking you guys to what I have in my kit. I think this is the most frequently asked question that I get where I get my makeup from, where I get my makeup organizers from, how they stay so organized. But this is the first case that I'm gonna be showing you guys. In this case, I have my foundations are all along this line. I have a mixture of um, foundations here. I have contour, I have skin prep, I have um, some cream blushes and concealers. But I'm gonna walk you guys through some of my favorite products from um, this bag. In the first row, I actually depot all of my foundations into these little Muji containers. So these are all La Mer um, foundations. And La Mer is one of my favorite foundations. So I'm gonna name some of my favorites from you, so, uh, for you guys. So I have Buff 22, Linen 13, Ivory number two, Amber 52, Honey 43, and Tan 42. That, those are definitely some must-haves to have in your makeup kit. In this, some other favorite products right now, I am loving these KKW um, color correctors. I think Kim did such a amazing job on those. Um, I'm also loving these Armani foundations. So these are my foundations. I, I have, been, I have um, designer lift. Some of my favorite colors are 5.5 and number seven. Um, so let's go on to some skincare. If, if you guys have watched my videos, you guys by now know that I have like three simple steps that I do and my favorite brand is probably La Mer. I have my new oil, this is really good for hydrating. My soft creme, also really good for hydrating. This adds a little bit of glow. The oil, I always put this on before, then I will put on um, the soft cream and then the eye cream. Um, another favorite in this makeup bag is probably my P. Louise eyeshadow base. This, other, this eyeshadow base has um, done me so much good throughout the last year, um, and this bottle lasts a long time. Um, what also is in this kit is, so this is my Kevin Aquan um, eyelash curler. I love this eyelash curler. I feel like it opens really wide. It does like the, like the best job of curling. I can really get in there. And for me, I have almond shaped eyes. So I feel like for a lot of my clients, it gets, gets all, all of the, the eyelashes and um, it curls them really well. Of course, I have my lip balm in here. This is my, my, my Patrick Ta Beauty lip balm. Um, this is one of my favorite products from my brand. It is Honestly, the best lip balm. Um, it has like a little peppermint um, um, smell to it, so it smells really good. And it's super, super moisturizing, not too shiny, so it's really great for men and women. Um, and then in the last part of this, I have my concealers. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. I have the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I have my NARS Concealer. Um, I have I have my Makeup Forever concealer, um, and then that's pretty much. I, oh yeah, and I, and I have some Mac um, concealers. So those are my faves so, so far. And I also right here I have this Dragon Beauty um, color corrector. I'm not walking you guys through everything. I'm, I'm I'm just walking you guys through some of my favorites. But this is pretty much it for this um, makeup bag. Let me go ahead and close this. But I'm trying to condense, but I do a really bad job. I feel like Olivia is always like yelling at me, trying to like take me, make me like get rid of things. But this is the size. These are actually from Amazon. 
Um, I think they're like maybe $20, $30. They are the best purchase. They make, they make the setup so much quicker, so much more organized. I feel like my kit just looks great. The only thing is that it can be heavy. So I wanna answer some questions that you guys asked for me on Instagram. So do I speak Spanish? I do not speak Spanish, but I am obsessed with reggaeton music. I love Maluma, I love Carol G, I love um, Rosalia, I love Bad Bunny. Um, and well, I am obsessed, that's all I listen to. Let's go into the next bag. So in this bag, I have some of my favorite Patrick Ta Beauty products, of course. Um, I have my contours, I have my cream contours, face powders, blushes, um, cream and powder highlight, and some face powders. And on the top, I have my eyebrow pencils, mascaras, brow gels, scissors, glues. So I'm gonna walk you guys through some of my favorites. So this is probably one of my favorite contour um, products. Um, it is the shade and illuminate in number five. Um, I love, love, love my cream and powder blushes. I think they are, honestly, each color is a must have in my makeup kit. Um, you guys know that I love this Givenchy powder. This is the Prim Rose powder. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it leaves a really nice, like, bright under eye. Um, I love my Studio Fix powders. The best Studio Fix powders that I think that you must have in your kit is NW20. NW20 is a must have, it's a brightener, and this is going to, like, just, Make your under eye flawless. This Hula bronzer is, I think, a must have. I think it it honestly does such a good job of contouring. It does a good job of bronzing. Um, but some of the other um, bronzers that I have are also, this is the Dior bronzer. I also have a Burberry bronzer. Some of my favorite mascaras are, I love this Marc Jacobs mascara. This is like, this is, Addison Ray got me onto this mascara. It's so black and it really does the job of lifting, of volumizing, it's so great. Um, I, have a, I have a few, so these scissors, I, um, they're MAC scissors. I think these MAC scissors are my favorite for cutting eyelashes. Um, these Glossier brow pens are a game changer. I love um, to really like draw on the hair now, so I think anything else in this kit is, oh yeah, of course, Monochrome Moment Blush. She's Seductive is one of my favorite blushes of all time. Um, I really got inspired by like a really flush, sun-kissed, um, bronzy cheek, so that's why I created that. How did I start getting jobs in LA? So when I first moved to LA six years ago, it was really hard for me to get clients. I was like so hungry, basically like so thirsty to get clients. And what I did was I posted makeup looks on my girlfriends. I would reach out to people, collab with people. I really just wanted to do makeup. Back then um, it was, Instagram was my only way to show my portfolio so I would do clients, take pictures, post them. And again, like I have no shame in my game. I reached out to people um, and I let them know that I had moved to LA and that I would really wanted to do their makeup just for fun, just for, um, and it really helped me a lot. I think that was how I started working in LA. What is my boba order? Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with boba, if you guys didn't know. I love Ding Tea um, from LA. And my, and my bubble order is taro milk tea with 25% um, sweetness and 100% ice. And I love their golden boba. Yeah, so this is probably the heaviest um, bag in my kit. So this is my eye kit. So I have my Huda Beauty um, eyeshadows. I have my Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I have KKW, ColourPop, a bunch of creams. Um, it is mixed with a bunch of cream eyeshadows, um, eyeliners, and I'm gonna walk you guys through some of my favorites from here. So this is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership V. 
I'm obsessed with like these colors right here, this matte right here. Um, I really love, I know that it's like used and abused, but this color pop palette, I'm obsessed with. I, two of the colors popped out, but that's okay. This palette is really cheap, but it does the job. I love these colors that are in it. They're very beautiful, warm tone um, palettes. I think another palette that I have used and abused, this is my Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette from Desi and Katie. So I have like used these to the pan. I never happened. So these fell out, but I still have it in my kit. I'm obsessed with it. Um, one of my favorite eyeliners is probably, this is my favorite eyeliner. This is from Victoria Beckham. This is the Satin Kajal liner in um, their black formula. Um, I'm really obsessed also with these Makeup Forever. These are their um, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. They can be used on the lips or on the cheek, but no, the lips or the eyes. These Tom Ford eyeshadows. So these Tom Ford eyeshadows are definitely one of the staples in my kit. I love layering textures. So putting a cream on top of a cream underneath a powder is really gonna bring depth to a eyeshadow look. Um, I also love, the, these are the Nude Stick Cream Eyeshadows. I don't often use them, but I do have them in my kit just to make sure that if I ever need them. Um, my Inglot Gel Liner is actually one of my favorite eyeliners. By far, it is the blackest of black eyeliners that I have seen. Let's see what else. So this is, um, I don't use it a lot, but I really love it. This is my Melt Cosmetics um, um, bronze eyeshadow palette. I often have a bunch of different bronze eyeshadows because I do, I'm pretty boring. I have like just like a few palettes of color, but I love bronzy looks, so I just have bronzy eyeshadow palettes. Someone asked me, um, since your parents are Vietnamese, how did they react to you becoming a makeup artist? I think that has been one of the hardest things for me when I was growing up. I was also, I was always very afraid to tell them that I wanted to do makeup. Like I think growing up um, Asian American, you are told that you have to be a doctor, you have to go to school, you have to be a dentist, you need to get straight A's. Um, but I always, I like was so bad at high school. I was so bad at anything like school. So I dropped out of high school and um, I had a salon when I was younger. My parents helped, helped me op open it. Um, I had, it was tanning and nails. It did really well, but then it did really bad. I ended up having to file bankruptcy. And from there I found the love for makeup. And it was so hard to tell my family because uh, like I was already coming out of the closet and then now their son is gay and they wanna do makeup, oh my God. Um, but my parents are so proud of me now, so I'm just so grateful that I was able to find a career that I truly enjoy, that makes me happy, and that, um, that I'm also able to make my parents proud. So last but not least, this is my lip bag. I have a mixture of Patrick Cobb Beauty, I have Armani, I have a bunch of different lip liners on here. They are all organized by color. So Olivia actually did this for me. She did all my kits for me, but I've had this for over a year now. And um, I'm gonna walk you guys through some of my favorite products in this kit. So I went ahead and I organized all of my lip palettes in by color. So this is my pinky, my pinky nude. This is my beige nude. So I depot all of my lipsticks so that so it makes it easier for me to see what I have because when I used to have them bullets, I never used them. Um, these are really pretty too. I never, I never caught them, but these are reds, oranges, pinks, purples. I have my liquid eyeliner. I have my liquid lips here as well. Um, some of my favorite liquid lips are, this is the Too Faced, um, the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. I love Armani 202, of course, PT Beauty. Some of my favorite lips from PT Beauty would probably be She's Independent, She's Confident, um, She's Hard to Cut. Let me show you guys. This is She Must Be New. I love, I love, 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 love. Um, 
I think a must, some must haves for lip pencils. I love Strip Down from MAC. That is always a crowd favorite. I love She's Proud. She's Proud from Pat Pam from Patch Top Beauty is such a good one. I love a good world, world moment from MAC. MAC is really good for like a pinkiness. So if you guys haven't seen, so these are my all over glow bombs. And I, I put these on the chest, on the decollete, the body, the face. They are one of my favorite products I have in my collection. Um, just because it just brings the skin back to life. Um, I have my um, face gloss in here. This is the best sharpener. This is from Glossier. Honestly, I can't live without it. What else in here? I have a few dewy milk mist just because I love, love setting sprays. This is, um, she's thirsty. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on myself just because, why not? Um, I keep my Q-tips in here. Of course, we have hand sanitizer. We have alcohol. I have my disposable, my mascara wands. And that is pretty much it. So I wanna walk you guys through my brush kit. So I have a lot of brushes in here. So um, I'm gonna walk, show you some that I love. Um, this is my Bedellium Tools brush. This is the Golden Triangle. I don't know the name of this one, but it's a really nice pointy tip. Um, this is my Patrick Top Beauty um, blending brush. This is great for the transition shade. Um, another brush that I think is a always must have, this is my NYX concealer brush. It's a little synthetic hair, so it really makes it really easy for blending. My major brow um, dual-ended brush. It has a really nice spoolie, and the tip is really nice and thin, so you can really draw hair-like strokes. Um, I think I really, I also love, this is the Bedellium Tools. Um, this is also another brush that I'm obsessed with. I think it's a 776, I'm not too sure. Um, I think that's pretty much my faves from this, but I, whenever I put them in, you always wanna shake them a little bit so the hairs don't get stuck. Let me show you my other one. So some of my favorite brushes. So this is, um, let's say, this is my Eight Cosmetics brush. I use this one a lot. This one is the number four. This is my PT Beauty um, blush brush. Um, I love this Dior blush brush as well for contour, for, um, for such and such. This is my Kat Von D um, foundation brush. I use this for moisturizer. And then I also love this big samey brush. I use this for all over the face for powders and stuff. And of course, my fan. My fan has done me wonders on set. It also provides like a little as, act as a guide for my highlighting mist. But overall, it just like, if I, if I ever need to set, you, you always wanna shake. But if I ever need to set my eyebrows, um, spray the face, get fan away, and then we're finished. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for following me along my journey. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you guys like this video, I would do more like it. Um, next time I will go through, I think, my makeup room. Um, but I will see you guys next time and thank you.